Now let's see how to swap two numbers without using third variable. Now what's the problem of using third variable? So let's say if we talk about int, so int takes two bytes in C, uh, C programming. So two bytes, two bytes, and even for this temp variable, we require two bytes, right? So in total, we are using six bytes. What if, if, we, can, if we can just remove this temp variable? So we can, we can save that two bytes. Again, you will say what's that, you know, uh, was a big big deal with two bytes uh, you know when you talk about uh, embedded software when you talk about cloud servers when you talk about mobile applications one bit matters and two bytes is equal to 16 bits you know so if we can store one byte also so we should do it but how to do that how to save that uh, two bytes so what we can simply do is instead of using that uh, temp operation we can use this formula which is which is a equal to a plus b then b is equal to a minus b and then a is equal to a minus b okay so if you if you perform this operation it will swap your numbers without using third variable and you can see we are swapping the values so how it works again it works with uh, plus operator it works with uh, multiplication operator and division operator so you can use anything you want so either multiplication or division. So if I run this, again it will swap your numbers. So we can use both. We can use multiplication or division, multiplication division or addition and subtraction. Okay, but let's time and focus on subtraction just to just to understand it properly. So when you say a equal to a plus b, so the new value of a will be five plus six, which is eleven. Here, the the value of a is eleven. Eleven minus six is 5 so the new value for b is 5 the value for a is still 11 the new value for b is 5 so 11 minus 5 is 6 so new value for b will be 5 and a will be 6 right so that's how you can swap two numbers without using third variable but hold on there is still a catch still a problem here the problem is the advantage in this example is we are saving two bytes right but still we are wasting one bit now you will say how the binary format of 11 or the binary format of 5 let's say we are talking about the binary format of 5 is 101 one. the binary format of 6 is 110 so the binary format of 5 is 101 one, and binary format of 6 is 110 okay what about 11 the binary format for 11 is Hold on, what's the binary format of 11? It's 1011. That's the binary format for 11, right? Now, if you talk about 5, it's 3 bits. 6 is 3 bits. And suddenly, for this operation, we are consuming 4 bits. That means we are wasting 1 bit. Okay? So, how to save that 1 bit? So, that is possible if you can use something called as the caret symbol. Now, this caret symbol represents a XOR operation. So this is your this is XOR operation. So what is XOR? Uh, so XOR is same like uh, OR gate and AND gate. Difference is in XOR if both the values are same it will give you 0 and if both the values are different it will give you 1. So if both the values are same it will give you 0. If both the values are different it will give you one so that's how XOR operation works so if you implement this here so what is a a is 5 so 5 is 1 0 1 we are x we are doing XOR XOR with 1 1 1 0 that is 6 right so the resultant output will be 1 and 1 is 1 0 and 1 will be 1 and 1 and 0 will be 1 right oh we are missed something 1 and 0 is not 1 it is 0 sorry for the mistake this 1 and 1 is 0 right now what next the next value will be next operation the value of b is still 1 1 0 this will be xor with the value of b oh sorry this is What's happening here? Sorry. Let's sorry for the mistake again. Okay, and this is one one zero. Now 
the resultant output will be so your a value is 0 1 1 and b value is 1 1 0 so let's apply the operation this is 1 and 0 it will give you 1 then we have 1 and 1 this will give you 0 and this is 1 and 0 this will give you 1 so the new value for b is 101 what about a again so the initial value for a is 0 1 1 xor with b new value so b new value is 1 0 1 and let's perform the operation so it is 0 and 1 it will give you 1 it is 1 and 0 it will give you 1 and this is 1 and 1 which will give you 0. So if you can convert this into binary format or decimal format it will give you 5 and the decimal format for this is 6. So see the values. Value for B is 5 and value for A is 6. Simple. And now if you run this, your number is swapped without even wasting a single bit. Simple. So that's it from this video and thanks for watching.